What's up guys, it's your boy Dom and welcome back to Dom Up Cuz. Before we get into the video, I want you to like, comment, and subscribe to join the ride and be with your boy Dom for your consistent NBA uploads. So, with the second round of the playoffs around the corner with Bucks versus Nets starting tomorrow, I want to talk about my Nets. So, what are my opinions on this series? I feel like it's either going to go to six or seven games. And I'm going to give you my reasons why. First of all, the defense of our um, of our Nets. You know, we don't really have a true center anymore. We don't have a true center in DeAndre uh, Jordan. You know, he's not even a starting caliber center anymore. I don't know how we're going to be able to stop Giannis, who is a very attack, a paint inside attack heavy player. How are we going to stop him? Another reason why is that offensive rebounding, and that's also going to tie in with our center. You know, with the Bucks being an exceptional offensive rebounding team with Giannis, um, um, Brooke Lopez, and dogs like Drew Holiday who are going to fight for those rebounds, who are going to fight for every single possession. It's going to be bad for us, and it's going to be a big mismatch in that department, in my opinion. And also our, our depth. Our depth, the depth isn't really that good for the... Uh, for the um what you call it for the nets right now we don't have that much bench depth you know we traded a lot of pieces away to get what we have now and i feel like that's going to hurt us in the long run now who do i have winning the series i have the bucks as a nets fan i'm being realistic i have the bucks winning this series but then again i also need to have faith in my team so i might say nets in seven but at most bucks in six okay Nets and seven, Bucks and six. Um, let me talk about that Lakers game last night. Officially, this is the first time LeBron's ever been knocked out of the playoffs in the first round. Officially. And is it safe to say LeBron isn't the best player in the league anymore? Now, don't get me wrong. You know, LeBron will always be a great player, no matter what. He'll always be able to, to, to showcase his skills. But right now, him being 36, about to be 37... You know, and his career up to this point has him being just dominating and the NBA in a sense. And now, just him being knocked out of the first round. Do you? Is it safe to say his prime is over? Well, not his prime, but is him being the best player in the league over? You know, I don't know what it would take for him to be not be the best player in the NBA. But one thing is him not showing up in the big moments. Now, last night he had a very, he had a pretty good game, you know. He had a pretty good game, you know. He had, like, a typical LeBron stat line, a typical, you know, 30-plus age-year-old LeBron stat line, you know. I feel like he could have done more, um, especially many plays. I saw where the paint was wide open or, and he just passed the ball, wherein he could have just drove to the paint and muscled his way through like he always does. You know, he was playing pretty passive. At the beginning of the, at the beginning of the game, and I was like, LeBron, come on, you gotta be more aggressive. And they started getting more aggressive in the second half, but that wasn't really enough because Devin Booker was being Devin Booker. Devin Booker was, yeah, he was being that guy, you know, he was being that guy, and he was just putting shot after shot in, and really they couldn't do anything about it. Um, the Lakers went on a big run uh, towards the end of the game. The game was at like ten points. CP3 comes in the game, changes the whole flow of the game. You know, he changes the entire flow of the game. Basically, all momentum technically has shifted to the Suns without the Suns barely even doing anything. So at so really, this was like this right here was a showcase of that 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 the Suns are legit almost. You know, and that team did not show up. That Lakers squad did not show up to play tonight. They have been very inconsistent throughout this series. A shooter had like zero points in a uh, game five, and now he had like 20. He had a cool 20 piece. Contavious Caldwell Pope only had like one point in game five, and tonight he had 19. And the rest never showed up. You know, Marc Gasol was called on a bunch of different fouls that I really didn't see that made sense, in my opinion. I mean, I don't know to you, but um, on Twitter, man, everybody was in on LeBron. Everybody was going in on LeBron. And I'm going to tell you this it's not LeBron's fault. It is not LeBron's fault. I'm going to just say that. By the time this game started, I knew the game was over. No matter what type of 
if 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 Le- if they put together a run, I knew the game was over. The game started getting interesting, and like the by the way Schroeder was playing, I was like, oh yeah, this is gonna get closer. But unfortunately, bad players make bad shoot bad shots. Kuzma puts up bad shots. Wesley Matthews puts up a horrible corner three, and that just changes the whole flow of the game. And NBA Twitter is on LeBron's head. And don't get me wrong, this is not LeBron's fault. LeBron played a good game. It's a team's fault for not showing up when needed. And you know, I, I'm going I'm a, I'm to a say it's LeBron's fault too because he was pretty passive. But at the end of the day, really, this doesn't hurt his legacy at all because look at Michael Jordan. He lost like five times. He lost five times. And he was in the East. I'm just playing. But he lost five times in the first round without um, Scottie Pippen. And this is LeBron's first time without AD in the first round. And he lost. What does that say, bro? You can't win no championships by yourself. You always need somebody else to help you win. No matter what, bro. So this GOAT talk is stupid. Because everything goes for the same for every single great NBA player. If the Suns win the championship this year, who's going to... Everybody basically uh, uh, chipped in. If the if the Jazz win the season this year, everybody chipped in. For the Lakers to win, everybody needed to chip in. And with this Lakers squad, this isn't even the same Lakers squad that helped win the championship last season. Everybody who played a key part in their championship success is gone. They're gone. They're by. They're they're Nuggets, uh, 76ers, uh, Clippers. They're all gone now. They're all gone. They all went to different teams. And, you know, with them picking up those like Schroeder, Mark Gasol, and all those players, you would think, oh, yeah, this team's about to go back to back. But they didn't. They lost. They lost. And that showed. That showed how how bad that GMing was. You know, and whoever cleared Anthony Davis to play is stupid. But um tell me your thoughts about this in the comments below this is not this is not gonna hurt lebron's legacy in my opinion like shoot he's done so many other great things that it's never gonna hurt his legacy but tell me your thoughts about the nets because i feel like the offensive rebounding and defense is going to be a big problem especially depth the lakers they have to make some big moves this offseason for sure and uh if you enjoyed the video i want you to like comment and subscribe to join the ride if you didn't like the video why don't you like it? Shout out to Devin Booker. Shout out to Chris Paul. Shout out to everybody who played well for the Suns. God bless. Peace out. 100.